so let us come back and do this 2008 paper right now from now we'll be seeing different types of reactions in this way basically <clears throat> such questions are very uh, like frequently asked in your organic chemistry what do they do last year paper uh, they've given us all the products and they've asked us to write the reactants so you should be very careful with organic chemistry when you're learning a reaction you should be specific right from LHS to RHS as well as RHS to LHS that is the reason I'm doing I'm taking so much time to do one one reaction we never know from where are they going to ask now see these reactions in this particular reaction they've asked me complete the following reaction statements by giving the missing starting material okay you should either predict the reactant here or reagent you should either predict the reagent or the product required right so anything may be asked so please go through each and every reaction in very keen way so that you will have a you'll have that grip on that particular reaction done so what did they give us <coughs> here they've given us a product directly and what did they give us in on the arrow very important they've given us zinc what is the role of zinc zinc sodium magnesium all these are strong oxidizing agents isn't it so as soon as you see zinc just what should it strike your mind zinc is an strong oxidizing agent what is the role of oxidizing agent it has to add oxygen so it added oxygen so simple what should i do i have here two <coughs> cyclohexyl rings isn't it now write this here how does this look your answer should be write the whole reaction and at least you take a blue pen here and try to finish off the answer now <coughs> there are two rings linked it is like this there are two rings linked basically this also is like this with oxygen but to show that oxygen addition which was done by zinc we have written like this so this is your answer so what is this compound cyclohexyl there's a double bond here diene remember cyclohexyl diene means two diene means double bond between two cyclo hexane that's it this is your compound you have to name the compound cyclohexyl diene cyclohexane is a compound this is the answer done now what should i do i have one more here you hope you would have remembered when i did an aldehyde chapter i did a reaction with pcc what did i say i said pcc pyridinium chlorochromate is the only reagent which converts your alkenes to aldehydes then also one more thing bh3 also converts right so when you see such alkenes to aldehydes you can directly write the reagent what is the reagent pcc best answer if you further remember <coughs> hydrogen peroxide also <coughs> in or base base medium next there is also bh3 correct all three reagents all this these also can be used for converting alkenes to aldehydes right simple this if you see this product and this product you can directly use pcc now let's come back in this particular reaction what is given to us <coughs> kmno4 what is kmno4 kmno4 is an oxidizing agent right again the same story i'm writing oxidizing agent simple first before oxidizing this particular thing it, it's going to form a salt isn't it they have not asked the final product what happens when this adds to this they said simple your alkyl group gets converted to your wherever there is this particular carbon please write there only yes <coughs> salt of potassium correct so this is your salt of potassium or benzoate set so this is how you have to justify your answers <coughs> and finish off. let us meet again with one more question of the stop here yes so let us come back and see the part b of your 2008 paper we've already done the identification of the uh, reactants products <coughs> as well as reagents now this is a part b of that particular board paper but given us directly the name reactions we have already done this video <coughs> describe the following reaction canizaro versus cross aldol so i've numbered the video here what do they give canizaro i've done it in video number 29 please watch that video it is there in the playlist exactly try to write the definition reaction name of the reactants and products 
Then when I come back to cross aldol condensation, this also was done. That is numbered as video number 27. So please watch that video also. So now this is your choice question in 2008. What do they give us? The, this such type of questions you frequently uh, see it in your board paper. Frequently, I should say you will get it in board paper. Account for the following. They want you to write the reason in one line. So how many did they give you? If this is a five marks question, they have divided three questions under part A and two questions under part B. Done. So the first question, aldehydes and <clears throat> are more reactive than ketones towards nucleophiles. You want they want you to write the reason. So let us write the answer. So when I am writing the answer, aldehydes are more reactive, right? So let us write the formula for aldehydes. <coughs> this is your formula for aldehyde, and for your ketone. This is your formula for your ketone. So what is happening in aldehyde and ketone? There's a nucleophile has to attack. For a nucleophile to attack, there should be a site which is created where, you know, a deficiency site, electron deficient site to be created so that the nucleophile will come and attack. So what happens here? This oxygen is highly electronegative, correct? When it's dragging, an electron or this a site where a positive charge is created here, Correct, then the nucleophile can easily come and attack because of this electronegative oxygen. But here what happens, this is your uh, alkyl group, electron donating group, it keeps on donating electrons, isn't it? So what effect does it show? Plus I effect. Hence, it, there's no or there's no probability or chance for the nucleophile to come and attack. Already there is a lot of electron cloud existing. So you can write plus I effect, hence does not <clears throat> allow or does not allow nucleophile to attack that's it simple here when I just come presence of presence of electronegative atom hence nucleophile attacks that's it this is your reason you're going to write in one line that's your first one so you can just finish off your answer saying these two are the reasons and let us erase this and come back to the next question. So, hope you would have read this question earlier. I have done this question earlier. Boiling point of aldehydes and ketones are lower than corresponding acids. This video also was done under video number 11 in, in the playlist. Please go through that video. Done. I am done with this also. I am done with this, this and this also. Let us come back. The aldehydes and ketones undergo number of addition reactions. Yes, we have seen addition of HC and addition of NaHCO3, formation of hemiacetals, acetals, yeah, addition of ROH. Why are they showing some in addition reactions? You can just write the reason. Now, this is your third part. Let us write the reason. The reason is presence of presence of sp2 hybridized carbon. sp2 hybridized carbon. That's the only reason. Simple carbon. So you can, what do you do? You pick up <coughs> your, they have given both, isn't it? Aldehydes and ketones. So write, take that aldehyde. You can write that aldehyde like this. And your ketone also. Write the structure and write sp2 hybridized <coughs> carbon. Hence shows addition reaction. Just finish off your answer. This is your keyword in the paper. This should be seen in the paper. Yeah. So I'm done with this also. Now let us write the next one. B part. What do they give us? They've given us again the chemical test to distinguish between aldehydes and benzaldehyde. Okay. Propanone and propanol. Simple aldehyde and benzaldehyde. So as I said, al <coughs> aldehyde uh, can show. So let us write aldehyde and benzaldehyde when it is in the one mark question no need to write the reaction and show everything just write the test simple test acetaldehyde responds to iodoform test NaOH that is response to iodoform test benzaldehyde do not respond to iodoform test simple next propanone same again it is a ketone and this is propanol. So we very well know propanol. Right? We very well know ketones they respond to iodoform test. Iodoform test and propanol do not respond to 
I don't want this. That's it. Simple. You can finish off your answer writing this. If you want, you can write the same here. I don't form as reaction of iodine with NaOH and NaOH. So, I'm done with this and this also. So, let us meet again with the 2009 uh, paper.